Hey guys, it's Nate, AKA The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I wanna take some time today and go through with you guys, do a little bit of live trading and talk about some of the best ways to make coins on FIFA 20 Ultimate Team right now at this time in this current market. Because the first thing is today that we need to mention, we did not get pack SBCs today, which we have usually been getting almost every day, uh, which dropped the market. Today, we just got a Giovinco SBC, so you saw the market maintain um, for the first time in a long time. Uh, you, you didn't see over here on the index gold or the index 100, you didn't see a big drop in the middle of the day. Instead, people went out and they bought cards or they did the SBC and they had to do other things on the game instead of open the free pack. And look what happens to the market on days when we don't get packs. It goes up and up and up. And that means people are buying, people are spending coins, they're trying cards, they're building teams whatever, because they don't have anything else to do, uh, like open a pack or whatever. So I wanna take you guys through some trading methods. This is the kind of market that we're used to. This was the market that we had last year in FIFA at 19, most of the time when we weren't getting SBCs like the, the Loch Ness Monster and the Mummy that were giving cheap packs out to everybody and crashing the market almost every day. So today it was very nice to see uh, the market kind of rise up. So I've got 914,000 coins right now. I'm going to take a look at one specific style of trading um, that is very good for all types of budgets. We're going to look at a lot of different cards today. And then I'm going to get into some other trading methods as we do get to the end of the video, which are more uh, budget specific. So this is a very popular chem style that a lot of people are trading with right now. Uh, and I kind of want to explain why it's working. And this method is the chemistry style trading method now as you know a lot of people um like cards with shadows on them especially if they are defenders so we're looking at Eder Militao right now with a shadow how much does Eder Militao uh go for with a shadow i think it's like around 11 or 12,000 coins right maybe a little bit higher than that yeah right around 12,000 coins for Militao with a shadow what does his card cost without a shadow well it's a lot less than that as you can see uh, 9,000? Oh my gosh, dude, it's like 7K. It's like 7,000 coins without a shadow for Militao. Why is that the case? Why is he 5,000 coins more, almost more than 5,000 coins more, when he has that shadow chem style equipped? Well, it's kind of easy to figure that out because if you go over here to chemistry styles, you choose the, the chemistry style of shadow and you search the markets, you are going to find snipes and that's it people are sniping these shadows and they're basically impossible to buy on the market so people are forced to go out and buy the card with the shadow chem style already applied yes these cards pop up okay i got one wow i did not think i was going to get a shadow there for 5k but i did we're going to send that to the club it is hard to buy shadows though they're basically extinct at 5k um but because that's why or that is why this trading method works really good. And it works for all budgets. Like an Ender Millie Tower right there, you can do that. If you have 15, 20,000 coins, you can find these low level guys like Vidal. Very popular um, center defensive mid in La Liga. He goes for like what? Is he like 4K? I think he's somewhere around, he's down like 3,000 coins for his normal card. But with a shadow, he goes for somewhere around 6K, I believe. He goes for somewhere around, okay, just under 6,000 coins, like 58, 5,900 coins. Vidal with the shadow, so he's an extra couple thousand coins. That's a card that's going to get packed a lot, but it's also a card that a lot of people are going to want to use. So you might be able to find uh, Vidal's on open bids or on undercuts around um, 4,000 4, coins where his normal card is selling, but he does have a shadow chem style on him, so that makes him a little bit extra. So... Again, chem style trading, you could do it almost any budget. Down here with like three, four, five, six thousand coins, all the way up to big time cards, um, like a big time center back, let's say Leng Le. You can do some chem style trading on some of these cards up here as well. Just be careful with it and make sure that the card that you're buying, the gold card that you are actually buying, actually has a differentiation in price. So Leng Le's card is going for right around 115, 116K. Is that getting bought? That Langley with the shadow is not getting bought. What is his price? If it's like 130, then I'm definitely gonna buy that card. It's not. Okay, so Langley goes for like 120 with the shadow and like 115 without a shadow. So that's maybe not the best buy, in my opinion. Um, that's gotta be a decent buy, right? 116? 116 for the blue card? 
The blue card's usually a little bit more. What's that? Uh, oh, see, it was gone, man. All right, see, there it is. Blue cards as well are decent to trade with. That was an undercut. Usually the blue cards have a little bit more value than the gold, so I should have bought that Insta. Um, instead, I thought about it and missed the snipe. So blue cards as well, decent to trade with. You can do chem style trading with those as well, but that's kind of what you're looking for with the chemistry style trading. Maybe somebody like even a Nathan Ake, very popular center back in this game. How much does he go for? Like a thousand coins probably, 850K. So he's like 800 coins. What does he go for with a shadow chem style? A shadow chem style, Nathan Ake, is 3,600 coins. Can you imagine how many people are going to put up Ake's because they don't think he's worth anything? They forget they have a shadow on him, and they're going to list him up for 1,000 coins, 800 coins. I bet you see it pretty often. You're probably going to see plenty on open bid as well. How many Ake shadows? No Ake's with a shadow that are listed up. Crazy. All right. So let's see. You can snipe or you can bid on some of these cards. So Ake... Wow, I'm going crazy here. 30, 3,900 coins. Is that what it is at? Somewhere in like middle threes. Yeah, 35, 3,600 coins. Let me sit here at 3K and see if we get any to pop up. This is definitely a way you can do it. Find a few cards like this. Maybe you look at Lindelof. Maybe you look at Eric Bailly. Maybe you look at another popular low-rated Premier League or La Liga or Bundesliga. Akanji could be another one you do this with. Militao, as I mentioned before, sit here and try to snipe some of these cards with shadows on them, filter between some of those players, and add all the open bids to your watch list. You can sit down and trade with, you know, 10 to 15 different cards at one time. You can make some pretty decent coins if you keep filtering through players. You get a couple snipes per minute. You get a couple bids going per minute, depending on how many coins you have. Uh, this can be a great trading method for some of that stuff. Eric Bailly as well. We can look at that. I know I've been hammering some of these lower price ranges. We've been talking about a lot of cards that are pretty low. I'm going to move up into a higher budget here in just a second. So Eric Bailly with the shadow is actually not as much. It looks like he's around 2,500 coins. So 2,500 for Eric Bailly. That might not be the best one to trade with because there's just not a, there's just not as much room for profit there. Uh, what about John Stones? John Stones with the shadow, since he's a little bit higher rated, this card goes for about... Somewhere around just under 7K. What does this normal card go for? Is this normal card like 2 or 3K? Uh, looks like it's going to be around 5. Yeah, looks like his normal card is right around 5,000 coins to just a bit over 5K. So that's going to be something that you could do to find some cards to trade with on that lower budget. It works for the higher rated cards as well. We did mention the Langley and stuff like that. But I want to take you guys into a different category. And that is the Informs. I have been making a lot of coins using informs and chemistry style trading. We're talking about Georgie Wijnaldum, we're talking about Ducore, we're talking about Ndidi. These cards with the shadows or whatever uh, chem style, like a hunter or a shadow, is a really good way to trade on a higher budget. So Wijnaldum, you're going to see him listed for a lot of times. I think his regular price is right around 150 uh, without a shadow. Somewhere around 150,000 coins without a shadow for this card. Uh, I have to filter out all these uh, blue cards, unfortunately. But without a shadow, he's somewhere around 154,000 coins. Just under 160. He has risen up a little bit, so it might be easier to do this with a guy like Ducore. But you might see somebody undercut for 150k with a shadow. Boom. There's an opportunity to trade as well, and as well with the open bids on cards like that. And I think the informs work really well because people aren't exactly always looking at these informs. Um, in terms of chemistry tile trading, but a lot of people are looking at these informs because they're interested in putting them in their teams. You know, 40k for a French Premier League midfielder is a fantastic, fantastic card that a lot of people are going to be trying to add to their teams. So Ducore right now is chilling somewhere around 43,000 coins, which is pretty solid. What is Ducore looking? What is Ducore looking like with a shadow? Ducore with a shadow is probably some way up to 50k. Yeah, it looks like he's right around 50,000 coins. You could sit here and look for the... He's in packs as well, by the way. So you're going to be able to get some snipes from people that have packed the card, maybe throw a chem style on them and try them out. And uh, are the Len, Len listing him up for undercuts and as well uh, open bids. People like to try cards out. They're done with the card. They list it up for an open bid. We have some open bids on Ducore with a shadow as well. So add those cards to your watch list. And this is a way that you can be pretty productive on the market as well with some of these informs and gold cards that you want to trade with. 
because people are adding these cards to their team and you're adding a lot of cards to your transfer list, you're filtering through a lot of cards. That's why this trading method can be a very big coin maker for you. Obviously, you're looking for, you're just waiting on people to list up open bids or on snipes. So you're a little bit reliant on people playing the game and being on and active and listing cards up. But um, that happens pretty often. That does happen pretty often. So there's definitely tons of filters out there that you, you can look for. Um, there's a couple of filters where you can find multiple players in the same price range. It's, it's not the easiest to find. Um, and I don't know a ton of those filters, but there are a few of them out there where you can find a couple cards under one filter. The very popular one that a lot of people know about is center back, uh, Premier League, club, Spurs, and then position center back. That's a very popular one that a lot of people know about. If you add this up with the shadow, you'll have the opportunity to maybe snipe a, um, a Vertonghen or an Aldo Weireld or a Dominson Sanchez. All of those cards are somewhere around like 16, 17,000 coins. Uh, Dominson Sanchez is a little bit more, but if you get a really big time undercut, that's a possibility as well. So that's a filter where you can get multiple cards under one search. And then I was also mentioning another way to trade. And another way that you can begin to trade, especially if we don't get SBCs like this, if you're on a higher budget, maybe over 100, 150, 200,000 coins and above, you can actually look at the daily, uh, the daily inform fluctuations. Nelson Semedo, this card right here. I saw him this morning for 95,000 coins on the market. He was 95K on the market right around this time period. Kind of in the middle of the day. Look where he's at now overnight, 105. You can see yesterday he peaked at 104, went down to 97. He was at 95, you sell at 105. That's a decent, you know, just under 5,000 coin profit on a card. It's a rare card that a lot of people are using as well. So when you pick the popular cards, you can get fluctuations. You can watch their fluctuations on Footbin. You can see when they get kind of low. Gomez at 130 is not too low. Dybala at 288, not that low. Uh, Hernandez at 69 is not really that low either. But just start to look through these Team of the Weeks. And if we don't continue to have a lot of SBC content like we have in the past, uh, Havertz at 140, and Diddy at 50K is actually back up a little bit, so he's up. That's good to see. Havertz is at 140K, which is a little bit low in my opinion. Let's look at his graph. So yesterday he went from like 138 all the way up to 150 almost. Back down overnight right now to like 140. Uh, Sunday he was down at 136, back up at 145. So there's a little bit of room for profit in those. You can honestly just look through these team of the weeks though. And if we continue to have consecutive days without pack supply from these team of the weeks, you'll definitely have a great opportunity to flip some of these cards just on a day-by-day -day basis, hour-by-hour. -hour. Digne, 66,000 coins. He keeps rising, but he's going to fluctuate a lot because this is a card that a lot of people want to try out in their teams and get. Today, he was like 61,000 coins all day. He's pretty high right now overnight at 61K or 66,000 coins. Yesterday, he didn't really fluctuate much, but in a rising market, you're going to see a lot of these cards rise up a decent amount. So keep watch and start to learn these team of the week cards. And honestly, the um, the screen cards as well are going to be good ones to look out for. This De Young card fluctuates a decent amount. I think I saw him get um, undercut at like 215 today. And he was 230 on the weekend. He's 223 right now. And this is another thing. When you get on the market and look at these cards, 223K, 226, 231. So you can almost buy this card for 219. And if you watch him, let's go look at this card. Let's go look up De Young exactly and find and see what his card is actually going for on the market because if there's only two cards ahead of 230, okay, 222, we have 223 and 226 and 231. So the the opportunity that we have these three car, these four cards to sell before this one expires is decently high, 43 minutes left. So you might be able to get an undercut at like 215,000 coins and you might be able to sell it at around 230, that's not a ton of profit, but it is a little bit. All it takes is one undercut on one card, and you could find yourself making a decent amount of coins. So the best way to make coins right now is to be doing these chem style trading methods or icon flipping or um, position change on top of chem style as well is a decent way to go. Um, but it's I, the reason that why I wanted to make this video is because people are wanting to know how can I trade, how can I make coins, especially on days when it feels like we're not getting any content. The days that we don't get content are honestly some of the best days to trade in this game because there's no pack SBCs coming out. 
no stuff being on entered on the market because people are opening a cheap SBC. So days like these are ones where we can get on the market, look at the fluctuations, especially with icons and informs, and make a decent amount of coins. So hopefully this guy's help. This helps you out um, with a better explanation of the chemistry style trading method. It's a very popular method. A lot of people are doing it right now. But there's so many cards that you can do it with that it's not really an issue in terms of. Um, is it going to work for me? Am I going to be able to make coins on this card? Another decent player that you could look at. Uh, I, I haven't talked about Hunter cards at all either. Anthony Martial is over 30K, so he's risen up after Sunday night. 31K, so he's about 32. What is he with a Hunter? I can't click the buttons correctly. What is Anthony Martial with a Hunter chemistry style? Is he like 35? He is about 35,000 coins with a Hunter chem style. You might even be able to get him to sell for like 36, 37. Yeah, 36 looks to be a bit more correct for that card. And his regular card's going for 32K. So you could sit here, try to snipe some Anthony Martial's. Again, he's a low rated card that's carrying a high value right now. Those are the best cards to trade with because they're on the market more. They're in more people's teams just because it's low rated. It's getting packed more. More people are, might have that in their club just because it's a more common card in the game. You might see some undercuts. You might be able to flip some of those cards. Lucas would be another one, a good one to look at. Sissoko, probably a good one with a shadow. And again, attackers with uh, hunters as well uh, are definitely a move, just like defenders with shadows. But the most important thing for this chemistry style of trading is make sure that when you're looking at a card, make sure that when you're looking at a card, there is a difference between what it sells for um, normally, its lowest buy and now, and what it sells for with the shadow chem style. So Nine Golan, who is actually out of packs right now, this might not be the best example, but we'll see how this goes. A shadow on Nine Golan, how much is that card? So it looks like his card's going for 6K, him with the shadow's going for 9,000 coins. You might be able to find an undercut on somebody like this. And again, it just takes a little bit of time to find a snipe, to find a card. Once you find a card that works for you, you find an undercut, stay on that card, man. Stay on that card. Rashford is another is another solid one. I'm trying to give you guys ideas of cards that could work using this method. Just popular Premier League, Meta, France, Brazilian players, stuff like that. Rashford with a sh Rashford with the Hunter is 50. Wow, dude, he's like 53,000 coins. 52, 53k. Unbelievable. Okay, so what is he without a shadow or without a Hunter? Excuse me. Without a Hunter is Rashford like 40. Wow. 45k, 46,000 coins, 47k ish, and he's up to 55. So that's oh, that's a big deal right there. Couldn't get it, but that is going to be a card that a lot of you guys might want to look at. He's very popular. A lot of people want to buy this card, and with that popular chem style, he's back here at almost 55,000 coins. So if you can get it, if you can get some at like 45, 46 with a hunter, list them up at 53, 52, you're making some big time money right there. Um, and especially during the day UK time. Right now I'm recording this at night, so there's not gonna be as many cards that pop up at nighttime just because there's less people on the game. That's one thing to keep in mind as well. But during the heat of the day, UK time, especially before the 6 p.m. drop, you're gonna see a lot more. This filter is gonna work a lot better for you because there's gonna be more people on the game, more activity on the game, more people listing up cards, trying cards, putting cards in their team upgrading the team and stuff like that so again make sure you check the bids check the snipes depending on your coin amount get out there on the market like look at this six minutes left in the rashford minimum bid 11 minutes left in the rashford minimum bid look at all these bids on rashford's with hunters you can add all these to your transfer targets watch for them to go through and possibly get deals and chemistry style flips on those cards as well so high budgets look at the icons look at flipping informs on fluctuations especially informs that are rare like inform Kevin De Bruyne, inform Coutinho, inform Dybala, inform Mertens, stuff like that. And then chemistry style trading with those informs as well. Low budget guys, you can definitely look at the chem style tradings with cards that are under 10K. Like we looked at Ake, we looked at Militao, stuff like that. Vidal are going to be great options that you can chem style trade with on this game. That's kind of the best way to make coins right now in my opinion. Uh, you can look at once to watch cards and their, their weekly fluctuations. But we're, it's, look like, it's looking like we're going to have a big weekend ahead of us in terms of content for Scream um, and probably packs being opened and SBC packs being out. So enjoy enjoy like the no content market um, for a little bit. 
with uh, the chemistry styles and the position change trading as well. You can factor in the position change stuff uh, in, in there as well. So if you enjoyed today's video and it helped you out, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.